The series itself came about as teachers came to us having used the corkles and they said, you've created little science monsters, now what? They love the corkles, they love the fun science, now they're coming back in the next grade and they want to know what's next. The Fuddlebrook series is an entirely new series but formatted much the same way as the corkles with 26 books, hands-on fun experiments in the back, uh, fun stories. Uh, that we think kids will really be able to relate to and teach some robust science at the same time. The characters in the Fuddlebrook series are very fun. I'm excited about them. Herman, one of the main characters, Herman Tweed that is, he is a hamster. Now Herman has been around for a long time, at least in my imagination, but he's evolved over the years. And in the series, Herman is, he's a little bit sassy, He's a wonderful scientist, he's sweet as well, and he loves to be around the other characters, which the other main characters are Freddie, Bert, and Liza. Those are the three students, and then Miss Wigglebum is the teacher. Illustrating a children's book has been a dream of mine since I was young, and so I naturally jumped at the opportunity to do so. Well, you know, you look at my first book that I did, um, and seeing the difference, I mean, it's, you know, seeing 26 books later, what the characters look like, they have kind of come into their own. It's kind of like getting to know someone every time that I drew the characters, uh, they became more and more who they were meant to be. The Fuddlebrook series, just as the Corkles, is not traditional scope and sequence. It can be used in regular classrooms. We think it goes a little higher than the Corkles, uh, probably kindergarten through elementary, uh, after school programs, gifted programs, libraries, summer programs, uh, it can be used in a variety of ways. Kids love science. They love any kind of hands-on science. They can relate to the science in the new Fettelbrook series because it's something that they can actually do that then relates back to the story. So you have a story, so you have your literacy piece, but you also have a hands-on science piece that can certainly be tied back to the book. And then we have a student journal that the children have an opportunity to write in and share their thoughts. The most exciting thing about finishing this project uh, is going to be seeing my name in print. Uh, it's going to be illustrated by Brittany Blue, and that is going to be absolutely awesome. We're really excited to introduce you to this new series. We think it's going to uh, add a new way to, to give your students excitement and a love for science, and we can't wait to bring it to you.